Welcome back to Foster the Meeple. My name is Jamie. And I'm Jeff. This is Jeff's first video with me, which is very exciting. It's going to get the most views. Yeah, sure is. Most humor, biggest laughs. Okie dokie. We're here today to do a how to play video on Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet is a game by Bezier Games, which we just learned how Bezier? to say. It's like Bezier. Bezier. We've been saying like Bezier for far too long. But Silver Bullet has quickly become one of our favorite like go-to games. Palette cleanser. It's a palette cleanser, yes. So basically it's a set collection, hand management, card management type of game. Right? Yep. Why are you laughing? No, it's fine. Okay, so we're going to tell you how to play, and then in another video, we are going to do an actual playthrough for you so you can actually see it in action. And I will win. Jeff, I'm on a hot streak. Jeff's on a bit of a winning streak Four in, in this a row? game, which is okay, but before that, I won three in a row. So it's a Yeah, good but thing. I was still like learning. It doesn't. We you, learned literally now, at the same time. No, you learned the game. You watched the video. You knew how to play. I was. You were teaching me, so probably influencing the end result a little bit. So we're going to open up the box. We don't need any of these things because we already know how to play. So within the box, you're going to get a rule book. You're also getting a reference card on what all of the different cards do. You're getting a little play mat that says deck and discard pile. Then you're getting a little notebook. We're oh, not going to look at the scores. Yeah, zoom in on that. Can no. we zoom in? Do you want me to hold it out? No, it's fine. So you get a little notebook so you can mark down your scores. Just for everyone's reference, the scores currently reflect my domination. I think we need to go back and see who's how many who's won. We should also side note that we're super competitive. Yeah. It also comes with four <laughs> reference cards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it comes with, of course, your deck of cards and an actual silver bullet. So that's everything that actually comes in the box. So Silver Bullet is is like the second edition or second, I don't know what the right word is that I'm looking for, but there's four different versions of this game. So you can get Silver. Version. So you can get Silver, that's the original game, Silver Bullet, and then there's two more, Silver Dagger and Silver Coin. And then the box is pretty cool because it comes with like different slots for the Yeah, cards. I actually think that's the most impressive thing. Yeah, and like you can, it gives you more space <laughs> if you sleeve the cards versus if you don't. <laughs> That's actually a terrible thing to say. What? This is the most impressive thing. Oh. Not, not the game. Like, oh. do you know what I mean? I'm like, this is the most impressive thing. Yeah, the game is the most The game sucks, thing. but the box is sweet. Silver Bullet. The purpose of the game, or I guess what the game is all about, there's werewolves loose in your village. In your village. So you're trying to build a village that can combat these werewolves. Never actually see a werewolf in the game. Yeah, so the numbers on the cards represent how many werewolves are present. I mm -hmm. believe. So the that lower the number, right. the lower the werewolves, the better your village. Exactly. Key being, you don't want any. Right. Zero. The game plays over four rounds. So you go through a round, whoever has the least amount of points during that round wins the round. And starts the next. And starts the next. And then you keep going until you've played your four rounds. And then whoever has the least amount of points at the end of the four rounds wins. The least amount of points means you had the least amount of werewolf attackage. I think it's just werewolves okay. in general, but sure. Where That works. Yeah. Yeah. So like we mentioned, there are all of the different cards. So there's like sets of numbers. So there are 0 mm -hmm. to 12, and they all have different abilities. Mm -hmm. Like we said, some of them are going to be giving you really good things and some not so good things. Some you want in your village, some you want in the discard pile because it gives you that benefit. A little bit of strategy. It's not a lot of strategy, but there's no. enough to kind of keep it not just being a memorization slash luck game. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're actually going to go into how to actually play the game. So basically, you start off by shuffling the cards. Jamie's really good at this part. You're just so, throwing cards at each other. It's not that complicated. Yeah, but let's be fair. I mean, people are going to notice the fact that Jamie's shuffling ability. I've never learned how to do the, the licky, like... Thing. I also can't do that. But just in general, your shuffling ability is lackluster at best. I just kind of jam them together and hope for the best. Okay, so you start by shuffling the deck and then you're going to deal the cards. So you have to deal five cards to each player. So even if you're only playing with two players, you still have to deal enough for four players. So you deal four piles of five. Fancy. 
fancy. So that's how you start the game, and then each person gets their five cards. Let's just say these are my five cards. You take your five cards and you lay them down face down in front of you. You are not allowed to look at your cards. Yeah, I have a bad... I, I don't now. He doesn't anymore. We when, started, he would get them, yeah. be like, ooh, I need new cards, I yeah. looked at them. I had a bad habit of, like, just, like, scoop. It was, like, one motion of, like, scooping the cards and yeah. automatically being like, oh, I want to look at all these, and then it was causing problems. It was ridiculous. Luckily, we had two extra piles that I could give him one. Yep. So you lay your five cards down, face down, and then you're allowed to take a sneak peek at two of them. So you keep it a secret, you look at two, Memorize them, which is really the hardest part of it. Yeah, there's this. a memorization aspect to this. Mm -hmm. And then you put them back in the exact same spot. That's key. Where you found them. That's key. We played that wrong once or twice. Jeff played it wrong. I actually never did. <laughs> it's funny, actually. Cheating. When I was cheating, I was losing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anywho. So you lay your five cards down. You look at the first two. And then... Is it only the first two no, or any two? No, you can look at any two. We always happen to look at the first two. Yeah, I think that's a key strategy. It's just easier yeah. that way. And then you start the game. So it goes in turn, so I would take a turn, Jeff would take a turn, then I would take a turn. So for the actual how to play the game, you can take pretty much, really it's three actions. So you can pull a card from the deck. Right. And you can put that card into your play area by replacing it with a card from your village and put that into the discard pile. So that's one action that you could take. The cards that you take from the deck always go into your village face down. So that's one action that you could do. The second action that you can do is take a card from the discard pile. Any cards that you take from the discard pile are going to come into your village face up. Which is great. Which is great. Because then you get the benefit of the card face up in your mm -hmm. village, which could trigger different things. So the benefit of having some cards face up, like Jeff said, is that there's triggers that can get you benefits, but you also have to keep in mind that there's a card in here that allows other people to steal mm -hmm. one of your cards. So there's sometimes you maybe don't want your best card face up because it might get stolen. Yeah, there's been multiple times where I'm like flipping all my cards over because of a trigger and I'm like, this is great. And then Jamie will pull that I think it's the 11, which allows you to switch, switch cards. Yeah. And it's just, it sucks because you have these really great cards turned up. And then as opposed to her having to grab one at random, she can obviously see what she can take. So mm -hmm. there's, again, a little bit of strategy in flipping cards at the right time. And So you could take a card from the deck, look at it, put it in your hand, exchange it for a card in your village. You could take a card from the discard pile. You can also, if you're looking at a card from the deck and you want to use the ability that's on it and you don't want to put it in your village, you can discard the card you pulled from the deck and use the face-up ability. There is a thing that we didn't mention. You can discard multiple copies of the same card at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if I pull like a two and I have three threes, I can discard all of the threes. At once. At once and take the two. Then the game continues until either somebody calls a vote, which is another action you could take, or the deck runs out of cards. So to call a vote, you have to have four or fewer cards in your village and you have to believe, I guess, that you have the least number of cards. Like, like the numbers on the cards have to equal the least amount. So let's just say I have four cards, Jeff has five. Halfway through the game, I might call a vote because I think, okay. And that's your action. You don't get to pull a card, yeah. do the thing, and then call a vote. It's your turn. You say, I'm calling a vote. It goes to the next person immediately. Yes. So I call a vote. Jeff would get one more turn, so your opponent gets one more turn to go. And then game ends and you count your cards. So when you call a vote, you count your cards. If you're the person that called the vote and you do have the least amount in your village of werewolves in, of your, werewolves village. in your village, then you receive the silver bullet and you get to have that for your next round. If you call a vote and you don't have the least number of werewolves in your village, then you get 10 added to your score. Whatever your score was at the end. So. Which... Uh, has happened to me a couple of times. Yeah, Jamie has a bad tendency of I'm calling a, little a vote overconfident. And, and not actually having the least amount of werewolves. Sometimes you gotta take village. a risk, you know? Yeah, for example, to give you kind of an example of how it 
has screwed Jamie. There was one time she called a vote and I get one more turn. I pull the 12 card, which I can give to her. And so she called a vote. I pulled the 12 card, gave it to her, which ended up, you know, causing her to not win the vote. Yeah. You have to be super confident if you're calling the vote. Like yeah. you have to pretty much know. Mm -hmm. You have to know. You have to know. You gotta know. You gotta know. So if you do get the silver bullet, that comes into play during gameplay in the next round. You can use a silver bullet for, or you can put it, put it on one of your own cards. And let's say I had a 12 in my village. I could put the bullet on the 12. And that means that I don't have to count those points at the end of the game. Right. So that's right. the benefit of having the bullet. Yeah, it basically nullifies that card completely. Exactly. So really, those are all of the rules, I think. Yeah, I think, you know, it's not... It's not a complicated game. You could definitely play this with kids for sure. I think it says, age is 14 plus. I mean, I guess maybe if kids are scared of the theme. I guess. But I mean, you don't even really have to, yeah, I don't get that. I don't I get don't that think. either. So that's how you play the game in a nutshell. This is our first time doing a how to play, so hopefully we explained it well enough. But probably not. Probably not. It's fine. You'll be and able to see it. And if we screwed anything playthrough. up, I mean, just mention it. Yeah, yeah, just let us know. Or if I notice something when editing, I'll just put it in the details. You know? Cool. So, but yeah, great game. Yeah, we love this game. We play this nearly every night at least once yeah it's like a good it's a good before we bed. said palette cleanser because yeah. i like a lot of heavy strategy stuff so it's nice to just play a mindless quick like hey it's nine o'clock gonna go to bed soon because we're old yeah um do you want to it's a play good, a quick and it's a nice round. little competitive game so we like competitive, competitive games jeff hates co-op games so <laughs> Anyway, I do hate co-op games. So that's how to play Silver Bullet in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to make sure that we post the playthrough at the same time as the how to play so you can watch them back to back. Uh, so okay. check out the description below and I'll probably try and put a card somewhere on the screen so that you can click that and then watch our playthrough of me demolishing Jeff. Do you think you're a worse hand talker than me? I think you're a worse mm -hmm. hand Sometimes talker Sometimes I have to hold my hands like this. I do it under the table because I also do this thing. You have a tendency to pound on the table. I didn't do it once. Today. Yeah. Anyway, so that's all that we have for you guys for now. Stay tuned for the playthrough and thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe, like, share, and follow us on social media. Right? Later cool. days. See ya. Bye. Bye. Did we kind of skip we over? Totally skipped over the what the purpose of the game is. <laughs> So why are we doing this? Okay, we'll, we'll put that in <laughs> yeah, the beginning. Yeah, sure. Okay, it's full of cat hair and dog hair. Shocking. I have to what do you mean how to play? Like how to play the game. Okay. It's too close. Are you slouching? No. I'm so tall. I should be a technology person. <laughs> Go for it. Ready? Yeah. And welcome, whoop. <laughs> Hello everyone, delay, wave, big wave, little Biggest wave. Biggest wave, brought to you by Bubbly. Bubbly or Bublé, Canadian treasure. I'm gonna overlay some stuff. Oh, sweet, magic yeah. tricks. Magic tricks. Video so, magic tricks. Editing. And <laughs> through the magic of editing. I can't remember where I was going with that. I don't know, all the improver <laughs> improvisation, what does Michael say? Improverization? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to be able to grab a picture. Okay, well, I don't. We don't both need to hold it's this. Fine. I'm this holding it. Half a box that weighs smile. less than like. You want me to do this? <laughs>